Well, look what I got. The Lego Seinfeld apartment. Uh, been watching this thing for, I don't know, whenever the Lego idea thing came up. What was that, a year or two ago? Uh, seems like forever. Been waiting for this set to come out. The Friends one came out first. Not the biggest Friends fan, so this is the one that I was waiting for. Um, well, let's build the Seinfeld kits. Uh, 1,326 pieces, so a decent size. Um, we got all the characters, including Newman there. Here, let me show you the box. Beautiful, nice box. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Oh yeah, there it is. Wow. All the bags. Oh, nicely numbered. The sticker sheet. This is a fun sticker sheet. Oh, I guess that's Uncle Leo. Oh, there he is. I saw that on the thing. There's a uh, little Larry David. I love that. The Porsche, Yada, Vandalay Industries. Uh, pretty cool. And you got all the doors here, of course. So we'll get into that. And... There is that. And it also has a little stage, a little Jerry Seinfeld stand-up stage. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, an exaggerated, fictionalized version of his real-life namesake, is the calm center around which his ensemble of quirky, impulsive, delightfully dramatic friends revolves. I wonder who wrote that. If that was a Lego writing, or if that's actually something from the show. Wow, they have little, little blurbs on every single character. So if you've never watched Seinfeld, but you have the Seinfeld Lego set, you know who these people are. Alright, well, let's get started. Because I'm in my little limited tiny space here, I'm gonna go bag by bag. We'll need a sip of coffee to begin. Just started drinking it black. It's pretty good. I'm growing up now. Okay, so we're gonna start with bag one. Um, I do like that they kind of give you a little hint. So it looks like for bag one and two, We'll just be kind of building the base, and then I think we'll also get to build Jerry's little uh, stand-up set. So that's nice. Get a little something fun to see. Let's begin with step one. completed bag one. Uh, looks like we got most of the footprint of the whole apartment here. I'm guessing this is it. And this, I'm assuming this is the front. And this is the couch here. And they got some print on those under the couch. The couch would go on top of that, but maybe it's supposed to look like the a box spring or springs or something there, but you would never see that. But that's cool. Um, so step one is done. Look at this. There's also a, a microphone here for Little little Jerry Seinfeld. Put that in there. And have him speaking into his little microphone there. Alright, on the bag two. Sorry, I try to get the lighting a little better in here. Sorry about this thing. I'm just in a small studio. It's the only place I got. But uh, let's build bag two. From the looks of things, it's going to be a lot of wood flooring. So I think we're just going to be laying some wood paneling on the floor. It's all about wood, Jerry. Wood. Okay, check it out. We got like the whole floor plan done. The whole footprint, all the flooring is done. Looks good, feels good. Just feels, Lego just feels nice. Um, but yeah, looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. 
Uh, so we'll move on to step three. It looks like we get to build some walls and actually start constructing some three-dimensional stuff. This was a little tedious, a little boring, and man, I hope I got all these little studs in the right places of where they need to be when we actually start putting stuff on there. So we'll see. All right, we are on to bag number three now. Looks like we're gonna be building some walls and we also get to do Kramer. Let me do Kramer real quick. So check it out, there is little Kramer. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. They got his hair pretty good. Uh, the shirt and the pretzel I think really give it away. So that's pretty fun. And check it out, they also give you his book, the coffee table book, of course. I'll put the stickers on that later. Uh, but let's get building. Well, check it out. Got some walls on this thing. You can start to actually see his apartment coming along. So this is the rug, uh, but here are the walls. This is his little, what is this? A little office nook, I guess. So this is where the, the computer will go. And yeah, yeah, the computer will go here and everything. And look at, they have these textured walls right here. The the base of the wall. I wouldn't. I didn't even know what I was building, but until you look at the the box, this is the, the bottom of his wall, like a textured wallpaper thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's what's fun about Legos. You build it and you have no idea what you're building and then you put it on there and you realize and it's a nice little aha. I love that about Lego. Uh, especially this. This looks so industrial. I didn't know how that would be part of his apartment, but it is. Uh, let's get going to the next bag. Bag four. Well, good morning. I just woke up this morning and I thought I gotta get building to some Legos or something like that. And I said, nuts to continuity and got a haircut. So let's start building. We're doing bag number four now. Uh, looks like we're gonna actually start building some walls, some more walls. We'll do his uh, office and everything, so let's go. All right, I got you off the tripod now because I want to show you this thing in detail. This is so fun. If you're a Seinfeld fan, you're going to be smiling the whole time you build this. Look at this. So first we start off, we got his actual desk chair in there. Look at that thing. And check this out. It actually goes up and down. Whoop. Crazy. You got his computer. Gosh, can you see in there? He's got Vandalay. He's on the Vandalay Industries website down there. Got his little, uh, you know, light there. Um, I think it's fun that they have, look, at we got the Kramer back there on the wall. Uh, I mean, Jerry would never hang that thing in his apartment, but it's pretty fun that it's there. And then look at this in the window. I'm building this thing. Let me show it to you here. I'm building this, and I'm thinking, what the heck is this thing? I have no idea. And then they give us a sticker to put on the back. It's the Commando 8, it's the air conditioner that that Kramer drops out of the window. Isn't that awesome? They got, you could tell the people who did this are actual Seinfeld fans, it's so fun. And you got the uh, the bike hanging on the wall back there. Uh, we got some photos, it looks like uh, Uncle Leo's there for sure. And we got a nice Jerry Porsche. We even got the, the sconces on the wall here. It just feels so good to kind of get this whole thing completed now, right here, up top. Uh, it feels just a lot more solid and everything now. Let me get that in focus. There we go. Yeah, this just feels all solid and square now. It feels really, really good. And uh, yeah, it's just nice how they give you these nice, it's all finished on top. They even give you these little, you know, the gray stripe that's across. Like you wouldn't even notice that stuff. So this is just such a fun build. Let's keep going. 
All right, back again. Bag number five. I'm still having brushed my teeth. But this bag is exciting too because we get a lane this time. So let's fill the lane real quick. So there is a lane. Let me focus that a little bit. There we go. So there's a lane, not bad. Uh, she's kind of in her work attire and it's fun they have her holding the goldfish. Little mismatch there. I don't think Elaine wore this outfit when she was carrying the goldfish, but that's all right. I think it would have been more fun if they had her in her red dress, but maybe they don't really do Lego minifigs and dresses. That might be the issue, but yeah, they got the little goldfish printed on there. It's good. Her hair looks good. I, it's, it's recognizable as Elaine. I like it. Well, let's get building bag five. Bag five is done, check this out. So basically got a lot of the kitchen done. I still got like kind of walls and cabinetry to do, but the fridge is all good. It's so fun. We got a photo of Larry David on there. I love that. All the little stuff they give you. A uh, little yada yada, schmoopies on there, Monk's Cafe menu, Superman of course. Uh, just looks so good. You got a little muffin, perhaps a muffin top. Top of the muffin to you. Coffee, you know, piece of bread or butter or something like that, the, the blue stools. Even, I don't know if you can see this, but even down here in the cabinets, there we go, can you see that? Down here in the cabinet, there's a little bottle even put away. It is so cool, it's so detailed, I just love this. And it, like these Lego, whoever, the Lego designers, it's really impressive how they're able to put pinpoint these pins or these pegs or posts whatever their Lego name is, exactly where they need to be for the stuff to fit in. And building these little things out of Lego, these, you know, specific, iconic, like the fridge and, and the kitchen and everything, stuff that we know so much, we know so well, building it out of these, you know, existing Lego pieces and somehow getting them together in the right scale and so that a Lego Jerry Seinfeld can interact with these, it's really, really impressive. This is really fun to do. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to keep going. I want to just keep building, but uh, I'm already on bag. I've done through bag five. There's only nine bags, so I'm going to make myself slow down a little bit to enjoy it. Uh, so I'm going to take a little break, and then we'll get into bag six. the tripod again man oh man this set just continues to amaze me it's just, well delight me I should say it's not as engineeringly incredible as the uh, as the Apollo Lego set but this one is so fun look at all the cereal boxes in here they got all the cereal boxes oranges we got cups in the cabinet there and everything of course we have the timeless art of seduction on the wall uh, yeah, right, Jerry would ever put that in his apartment, but still pretty cool to have. You got the stuff above the, uh, above the fridge there. Just really, really impressive. All that detail that they're able to get out of Lego bricks. And it unmistakably, unmistakably looks like Jerry's apartment. Very incredible. So I'm really impressed with this. It, this thing is just so fun to build. Highly recommended. I'm going to keep going on to bag uh, seven. Okay, we're on to bag number seven. And this one, we got George Costanza coming out. All right, well, check that out. There is our Georgie boy. Uh, <laughs> I love the bald Lego minifigs, it's so fun. And this one, they definitely got him in the storyline there, fishing down for the uh, the Schnitzer's Marble Rye, if I remember correctly. Definitely Schnitzer's. Uh, 
You gotta fit a schnitzers in your coat? It's huge! Yeah. Oh man, this is fun. George is pretty good. Definitely looks very grumpy there, but uh, yeah, this is fun. All right, let's get building the next bag. Well, another delightful package, pack, I don't know. Look at this, I honestly didn't even really notice this or realize this in the, uh, from looking at the images, but we build kind of the hallway, hallway too. So you have apartment 5B, you got the door to Kramer's apartment, and you can kind of see in there, it's, it's actually fairly hidden, but you can see uh, the hallway. Uh, they got kind of like even the, the textured colors of the hallway and stuff, and then of course, there's Jerry's door, 5A, apartment 5A, which you can open and then, you know, come around come around in here. Very cool that you can see that. They even got the, the intercom there and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, really cool. I, I mean, again, just so fun. They have a, we put a lamp hanging up here. Stuff that you don't even really notice, but really makes a difference. And this thing, I didn't even realize what I was building there. I had to go back and look. That's like a, a speaker that's in Jerry's apartment or something. The stuff that, you know... I wouldn't even notice, so, um, man, very, very fun. I keep using the word delightful, but it truly, truly is a delight to build this thing. Well, another fun bag. Just a lot of lot of details in that one. A lot of little details. So, got that whole back shelf built. Um, we got it's it's tough to see, but look at back there is Fusili Jerry, and of course, prognosis negative. Uh, man, that whole shelf. There's there's I don't know if this is a a joke there or something, but it's just a little guy, a little statue, I guess, or something. Uh, we got the phone that Jerry always hits. Oh, so fun. Got the shelf and everything. Couch, of course. Table. Fun that the table kind of uh, spins even. So, there is no walking room behind the couch, I realize, but that's all right. I don't know if there actually is in the real one anyway. But, uh, man, this just looks so good. It's so fun. It's really, really coming together. We're almost done. Uh, I'm just going to finish this. I can't wait. Well, this is it. The final bag. Number nine. But it looks like we get Newman. Interesting that they give you Jerry first right off the back and right off the bat, and then they leave Newman for the for the last, like he's the grand finale, but some people love Newman, I guess. Well, there's Newman. He's even got his piece of mail. Because if you control the mail, you control information. Wow, that's fun. Newman's, he's okay, his hair looks a little, a little off, but, uh, I like it. It's fun that they included Newman. It would have been fun for them to have, like, the soup Nazi or something like that, but, um, at least they threw in one additional, you know, non-main cast member, so that's fun. But, uh, looks like a lot of detail kind of work here to finish this up, like the Festivus pole and stuff like that, but, uh, let's finish this Seinfeld Lego kit. The Lego build is done. Wow, it looks so good when it's all done. I, I really like the lights on there. I think it adds kind of a nice finishing touch, making it look like the set. Um, I do really like that. Uh, so yeah, here's everything. You can put the characters in there. I love how they have you know these different little attachment points um, kind of around the whole uh, place for you to place the characters wherever you want and recreate scenes. 
uh, however you'd like. I, can, I have Newman in the hallway back there because Newman doesn't really belong in this apartment. He's never. He's either in the hallway and the doorway or he's in the bedroom in, in Jerry's bed with Kramer. Um, yeah, this thing is super fun. I think this would lend itself really well to those light kits that they sell too because I mean this thing literally has lights on it and uh, you know light back here. Uh, I think it would look really good and finish it off nicely with one of those Lego light kits. So I might get one of those and I'll post a video on that and stuff I guess too. But uh, super fun build. If you like Seinfeld, you're going to like this kit. If you like Lego but don't like Seinfeld, you probably won't like this kit. You might like it. If you like Seinfeld and you like Lego, you probably already have this kit. It's awesome. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching uh, and letting me enjoy this Lego Seinfeld experience. Goodbye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This is my dog, Murphy. And these are dog treats. Now I'll give Murphy one of these dog treats. And all you have to do is press the like button. Just press that little like button right down there at the bottom of this video. And this sweet, adorable, cute little puppy gets a treat. All thanks to you. All right, you did it? Okay, I believe you. You said you did it. There you go, Murph. She got that treat because of you. Now, I'll eat one of these treats, and all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Right there, pointing to it. Just click that subscribe button. Subscribe to Curiosityness with me, Travis DeRose. Get lots of good video, and I'll eat this treat. All right, you did that too? That's not very good, but I'm not very